My name is Angel Oji and we're live at Niger Day Freedom Vibe 7.0. Niger Day is all about showcasing unity in diversity. We're so excited to be here. There's so much going on all around and we'll definitely show you guys. Stay tuned to see. So every four years, there has been ethnic tension in the country, right? So what or who do you think is the cause of this? Well, you see, every country has its challenges. Sometimes you might have to dig into the history of that country for you to truly understand it. Um, Nigeria is a conglomeration of several people from different backgrounds, from different ethnicity, who have been brought together by a fiat by the British rulers in 1914. And uh, ever since then, we have been trying to realign to understand ourselves. Okay, so do you think Nigeria's cultural diversity is a strength or a weakness? Well, I believe it is a strength because um, we learn every day and learning is key. Um, information is power, information is knowledge. So if you um, come together as one and then you learn someone else's culture, I feel like that builds you that makes you more powerful because you have an idea of, you know what is going on in other people's culture and you can use it to build your own self and also, you know, improve on that person's culture. So, cultural diversity is a strength. But it's a, it could also be a weakness because we're humans. We don't all agree on the same thing. And disagreements can lead to, I mean, worst case scenario, killings. So, um, it could be a weakness and it could be a strength. Uh, strength being that, okay, we get to know about other people and we get to build ourselves from what we learn from other people. Then weakness in the sense that, okay, disagreements could cause rivalry and setting, setting back. We, I mean, the reality is that we are already a nation with multiple people. There's nothing we can do about that, right? So what can be the solution? How can we all come together and unite as one? Going forward, going forward, we should think Nigeria first. We should let love lead and hold us tradition secretly you know because what's going on now almost uh, uh, everywhere in nigeria is people idolizing our tradition and that isn't true our tradition does not mean idolatry it doesn't mean uh, every everything bad does not revolve around our tradition so when you see people for instance dance our own uh, traditional dance in asa okay and, and people tend to say it's spiritual, it's spiritual, but it's, it is our traditional dance and there's nothing wrong with it. Can we separate ethnicity from politics? Um, I don't think we can do that because the two have to work hand in hand. You know, you need um, ethnicity, you know, in politics and especially in leadership. Okay, so... Um you know, they say that national unity is a precondition for good governance. What's your thought on that? Um, yes, I, I totally agree with it. Um, one, because um, we need to unite as, um, as a nation um, for, for us to move ahead, for us to forge ahead as, as um, a nation. And in terms of politics, I think we need to come together as one irrespective of um, ethnicity. All right, so I have here with me. Yeah, my name is Peter Boehm. Uh, I'm a German writer. Um, I'm here for the, the um, Afri Film Festival and later on the LABAF, the um, culture conference. And, and that's why I'm here for to attend it, actually, yeah. OK, so um, what do you think about the ethnic tension that goes on in Nigeria? Are you aware of it? Yes, I'm obviously aware of it. I mean. Well, that it's you know um, that Nigeria as a country. What can the ethnic groups do aside from working together and and um, being one? I mean, I think one one aspect all ethnic groups could um, unite under would be the fight against corruption. I think that's the most important thing, and I think that in every part of the country, be it the north, the south, the southwest, southeast. You know, that's something every a banner everybody could uh, unite on, and I, I think that would be definitely be a good idea. That's the foreigner's uh, side, obviously, but I think that's that everybody can can agree on, really. 
Yeah, so do you have anything to say to us in Nigeria with um, the ethnic tension that we're going through? What can you tell us as a nation? Um, well, be, be tolerant. I mean, what, what I really liked about Nigeria is, is the religious tolerance you find. I mean, look at the Southwest, there are Muslims, uh, Christians and, and non-Christians together living in, in one family. Or, or I have a friend uh, who, is, who is Muslim, he's married to a Christian woman. I think this is some, something that the world can... Um, can, I mean, the wider world, not outside of uh, outside of Nigeria and outside of Africa, really can learn, and it's religious tolerance, and um, that. But that means everybody has to be tolerant. I mean, Muslims um, towards Christians, and the other way around. I think that's that's really something that that everybody can learn from. Yeah. When every single individual Nigerian realizes that, aside from all our different tribes and ethnicities, we are Nigerian. We are fundamentally Nigerian and we are one so if the whole nation is healed everyone is healed if the nation is sick everyone is sick so when we realize that we are one then I feel like there would be more unity all right so I have here with me Tobani Akiwande okay what ethnic group are you I'm a Yoruba boy from Ondo State. oh that's nice all right so um my question for you is do you think uh, members of an ethnic group benefit more when their um, kinsmen is in power? I think the natural response to people, you have your people and you're a piece of power to help your people. They just call naturally to most people to just try to help their people. And this country is very prevalent in every sector you look at. I think, yeah, that's just it, basically. Okay, so you think um, citizens of an ethnic group benefit more when their kinsmen is in power? I think in most cases, yes. In most cases, yes. They benefit more. The natural response, the natural human response. You can't blame them, per se. Do you mind giving us an instance, like currently? Okay, for example, if you look, I won't call names, but <laughs> people in power, for example, look at certain people that they appoint in certain agencies that are very important to them. They mostly come from the same ethnic tribe as the person. I think the natural response to that, to that as well. In as much as you want to respect the federal um, character and everything, it's a natural response to you that will overwhelm whatever, whatever thing you want to do. Okay, the truth be told is that there is one uh, issue we have in Nigeria and the issue is tribalism. Mm -hmm. Even though a lot of us want to believe we are not tribalists and those that are painting it out there, like those that are showcasing it, we tend to are too quick to call them tribalists. However, tribalism is actually rooted in us because as humans, we just tend to like uh, have soft spot for those that are from us, basically. So I think the problem is that we Africans, or we humans rather, we are tribalists. And that is like a fact that we need to always have. Yes, we can try to reduce it. Yes, it is bad for you to have tribalism at the expense of the goodwill of the nation. It is very bad, but then tribalism is the problem and it has always been. So for the whole issue about the election, I'm, I'm sure I'm talking about the election, and the way some persons were disenfranchised. Yeah, it has to do with uh, a, well, or a very toxic trait of tribalism. She understand because like the tribalism there is more, and I think it has to do with ignorance too. She understand because trust me, those that were actively pushing for it, if you noticed, they, they are some set of persons. I don't think you would have learned persons. I want to believe you won't have learned persons pushing narratives like that and then injuring people from voting. Yes, maybe those that. Are uh, fueling it are the uh, educated ones, the learned ones. But you'd see that those that are actually carry out the tribalism uh, acts, they are actually the ignorant ones. Don't let me say the uneducated ones. So I think it has to do with education too and the fact that, okay, yeah, they are ignorant. So do you think um, members of an ethnic group um, benefit more when their kinsmen are in power? I would say yes. Uh -huh. Because <laughs> there is something they say in my language. If your father is in the heaven, will I go to hell? I will not go to hell. So it is just natural. Uh -huh. So yes, the answer is yes. Okay. All right. My last one. It said that national unity is a precondition for good governance. Do you agree? Completely. So how do you think we can promote national unity in Nigeria? Do you think there's national unity in Nigeria? Right. For now, no. 
Even if their wrist is not showing very much yet. But we're very beautiful people. You see how many people we've seen here today, those people that dance, not those people that are doing like this. I cannot do it, but they do it very well. That does not make them bigger than me, and it does not make me any less, you understand? That's what they do. You know, by the time we're able to harness these things in different way, you know, we become like this. We fit into each other's gaps. So I think we can actually harness it for you. If we feel drawn. Yeah, I know so we feel drawn. All right, thank you so much. So lovely having you on the green carpet. Thank you. I hope you're having fun, though. Ha! Don't, don't, don't miss me. Hey. Do not. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.